Voyager 1 and 2, traveling through space for nearly five decades, are still sending signals despite using just 23 watts of power, roughly the energy of a microwave bulb. A recent study shows that with today's tech, Earth-based observatories could detect these faint signals from nearly one light year away. This raises an intriguing question. If we can detect such weak transmissions, what does that say about Earth's signals reaching space? Join us as we dive into the implications of this discovery for SETI and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Led by Dr. Sophia Sheikh, the study focused on determining how far we could continue detecting the Voyager spacecraft using current Earth-based systems. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 is now over 24 billion kilometers from Earth and still transmitting. Its signal is picked up by NASA's Deep Space Network, a global array of highly sensitive radio antennas. Despite the transmitter's low power output, researchers calculated that we could continue detecting Voyager's signal out to approximately 0.97 light years, or about 354 light days. This is a theoretical limit assuming the spacecraft continues transmitting and our detection technology remains as it is today. Reaching that distance would take Voyager 1 about 17,000 more years at its current speed of roughly 61,500 kilometers per hour. Of course, its power source, a nuclear battery, will cease functioning within the next few years. But the point isn't how far the craft will actually travel, but how far its signal could be detectable in principle. This kind of detection range offers a concrete example of how long artificial signals can remain traceable through space, especially when supported by large, coordinated antenna networks like the Deep Space Network. That's a practical, measurable example of what a low-power technosignature looks like from an Earth-level civilization. The Voyager spacecraft unintentionally have become benchmarks for understanding how faint, persistent signals propagate across interstellar space. Their longevity and simplicity provide a valuable analog for evaluating other potential artificial sources, whether from Earth or elsewhere. One promising avenue is through technosignatures, which are indicators of technology rather than biology. These could include targeted radio messages, atmospheric pollution, large-scale energy usage, or unintentional electromagnetic leakage. Dr. Sheehake's study doesn't attempt to detect alien technosignatures. Instead, it evaluates our own, using Voyager's signal and Earth's deep space network as a case study. It frames a new question. If someone else had our level of technology, could they detect us the same way we detect Voyager? The answer is yes, and that expands our understanding of what makes a detectable civilization. Voyager, as a transmitting object, is relatively weak and undirected, but still measurable from extraordinary distances. Complementary research from Ramiro Said at the University of Manchester furthers this idea. He explored the detectability of Earth's modern radio emissions, including mobile phone towers and airport radar. According to his findings, cell tower signals could be detectable within 10 light years. Airport radar systems, due to their higher power and directional beams, could reach up to 200 light years. These emissions are not intended for space. They're part of our routine infrastructure, but they leak out nonetheless. That leakage forms a type of passive technosignature, a footprint of activity, not intention. The takeaway is that Earth has already been broadcasting its presence for nearly a century, not through deliberate messages, but through daily use of technology. And now, with tools like the Square Kilometer Array coming online in the next few years, our ability to detect similar emissions from elsewhere will increase dramatically. This repositions the strategy behind SETI. Rather than waiting for a direct message from a distant civilization, it may be more productive to search for the everyday electromagnetic noise that another society might inadvertently release. The practical implication of this research is that our planet is not as quiet as we once imagined. Whether we intend to or not, we've been announcing our presence to the galaxy through spacecraft transmissions, telecommunications infrastructure, and high-power radar. This visibility raises both scientific and philosophical questions. If we're visible, even faintly, 
to observers dozens or even hundreds of light years away, then we may already have been detected by others, assuming they're looking. From a research perspective, this strengthens the case for focusing SETI efforts on passive technosignature detection. For example, instead of scanning the sky for deliberate broadcasts, we could analyze specific star systems for narrowband radio emissions or signal patterns resembling Earth's leakage profile. Future observatories, such as the Square Kilometer Array (SKA) and the Next Generation VLA, will have the sensitivity needed to detect fainter and more distant signals. Coupled with machine learning tools to filter and classify anomalies, this opens up the possibility of identifying civilizations not by what they say, but simply by what they emit. At the same time, the detectability of Earth raises the question of whether we should continue broadcasting. Some scientists advocate for minimizing emissions or remaining radio quiet, fearing that contact might bring risk. Others argue that the genie is already out of the bottle. Between radar, satellites, and civilian infrastructure, our presence is already spreading across the stars. The Voyager study confirms that human-made signals can be detected far beyond our solar system. It provides a clearer picture of how far and long these signals might persist in space, even without intentional efforts to communicate. The Voyager spacecraft, initially designed for planetary exploration, are now helping us understand the far-reaching impact of our technological signals. This research shows that even weak signals can travel nearly a light year, making them valuable reference points for SETI. As technology advances, we may soon detect similar signals from beyond Earth. While our spacecraft may eventually fall silent, they're still speaking revealing valuable insights about our place in the galaxy. Explore how humanity's footprint extends into the cosmos. Stay tuned for more discoveries.